So today in class, I started off with a pre-class clicker question. I often do this. There's just a question up, and students can look at it as they're milling into the classroom and getting settled down. And that's a good way to start class. You, you close the question, and that begins your class. Today, that question happened to be uh, not very conceptual. It was more notation. Had we not done that clicker question, I, I would imagine that they probably would have forgotten that notation. So that allowed me to go to the blackboard, write down the correct formula, and everybody had been thinking about it. Later in class, I had a question where um, a previous faculty member had asked this same question and gotten 80% incorrect. And the reason is, it's a question where a simple classical model of the atom gives you the wrong answer, and the quantum model of the atom gives you the correct answer. And I, I poked a little bit in the middle of the clicker question when I saw, I looked at the clicker box, and I could see that it was 80% correct. So I just threw out one of my little pokes, and I said, um, you know, if you're deriving your answer from what's on the blackboard, does it make sense? Think about it physically. And th that's all I said, and that started some some discussion going about what, what did this answer really mean? Because it was, in fact, a very surprising answer. There was another question that I asked today, which was, um, it was a, it's a beautiful question. Uh, I saw at least one student sort of did a double take when I asked the question, because it, it clearly disturbed him. Um, there, were, there, were, um, there was something in the mathematics which was the same. And the clicker question basically asked, well, if that one important thing is the same, is everything the same? So if you just are voting on the clicker question by instinct, you go for everything is the same. And that wasn't the correct answer. And they kind of knew, I think, that that wasn't the correct answer. But so now they had to figure out for themselves, but why not? Why is my gut reaction here inappropriate? Which I think is very useful for them rather than my simply telling them the answer and moving on.